In the other segment of this photo keyword harvester overview, I addressed the problems that I thought would have to be solved with any keywording solution. Briefly, those problems are that keywording is a language which is defined by the people who are looking for images, not the people who are supplying them. And that you as photographers are going to have to learn that language if you want to successfully keyword images that can be found by photo buyers. Secondly, you can't be facing a blank slate every time you have an image to keyword. It's just too much work when you're dealing with thousands of images. There has to be a way to speed up the process to automate some of the functions so that you're not repeating unnecessary tasks. And finally, you'll need to get some sort of feedback to make sure that the words that you're using are effective in making your images findable by photo buyers. This last part might be best done by asking your agencies to give you a list of the words that were used to find the images that are included in your sales report. If they're not tracking this, they should be. So that's the problem, and here's the solution that I came up with. You'll be keywording your images in four simple steps. In the first step, as you're keywording your image, you'll learn the language of keywording. This is the same language that photo buyers are using to find images similar to yours. The Photo Keyword Harvester does this by opening up to 10 web pages and tabs in your favorite browser. If you haven't used tab browsing before, you'll be surprised at how useful it is. You turn on tab browsing in the Preferences section of your browser, Firefox, Safari, or Internet Explorer. And then each web page is opened in a separate tab. The pages are always live, and so all you need to do to switch from page to page is just click a new tab. You're going to search for images similar to yours in these different resources and see what words are attached to them. The words you use to search are possibly the words that photo buyers are going to use. So keep changing words until you find images that are similar to yours. Grab those words and dump them into the keyword window in the Photo Keyword Harvester. You can grab bits of other keywords or descriptions from a dictionary or text from an encyclopedia. Anything that describes your image. Drop these bits and phrases into the keyword window in the Photo Keyword Harvester. They're going to be in a lot of different formats, but don't worry about that. When you click the Harvest button, all the research that you've done will be formatted into a clean keyword block separated by commas or semicolons with all the duplicate words removed. There's a list of words called exceptions that won't be added to your keywords whenever you click the Harvest button. You can add additional words to this list at any time. The second step in your keywording is to remove any words from the keyword block you've just built that don't really describe your image. It's much easier to start like this with a group of words that might describe your image and remove the ones that don't apply than it is to start with a blank window for every image and try to think up every word that you'll need. Hopefully you have a great group of words already describing your image, but now you'll want to fine-tune these words to make sure that you've done the best job possible in making your image findable. Click the Keyword Composer tab to use our controlled vocabulary to fine-tune the words in your keyword block. This is where most keywording programs at best usually start, but instead of starting with a blank window for every image, you already have a great group of words, and all you're going to do here is fill in the gaps. For instance, if you have people in your picture, go ahead and identify their ages if it hasn't already been done. If you're a nature photographer, when you enter a mammal or a bird, we'll put the scientific name in for you automatically. If you think your photograph might be useful for advertising, you're definitely going to want to go through the concepts list and include concepts to identify the image. Editorial photos are usually identified and sold by subject, but advertising photos are often identified and sold by concept. The advertiser usually isn't as concerned with the subject of a photograph as much as they are with relating a concept or mood in the photograph to their product. The things that your image might convey, like speed or power or tranquility, are the things that advertisers are looking for, and those are the words that they're going to use when they're looking for those images. You add words from the Keyword Composer by going through the lists and clicking on the words that you want, or you can use our search function to search for words. When you add a word, you have the option of having the synonyms and plurals for that word added automatically as well. For the final step, you're just going to click the Copy button and copy the keywords to your clipboard, and then paste them into the metadata tag of whatever image editing program you're using. The Photo Keyword Harvester works independently of whatever cataloging or image editing program you're using. 
The only thing we do is keywording. So any file format that your image editing program can handle can be used to store the metadata, including RAW. Finally, let me show you the real time saver in the Photo Keyword Harvester. Once you have a block of keywords that you think might be useful for similar images in the future, you can save that block of keywords as a template. These templates can be assigned to groups so that they're easy to find, and can be transferred to your keyword window at any time. The template can either replace your current keywords or be added to any keywords that are already existing. This has been just a quick look at the Photo Keyword Harvester. It'll give you an idea of how it works and how it'll solve your keywording problems. There's something that I've said on our web page and in other places, but I'll go ahead and repeat it here because it's important. And that is that if you keyword your images correctly, it could mean thousands of dollars in income to you over time. And if you do a bad job keywording your image, it probably will never be seen again. So take the time to do a good careful job keywording your images, make some money and enjoy your photography. Thanks for checking this out.